In this sponsored tutorial, we're going to take a look at custom CSS and JavaScript options inside of the new Visual Composer. This is not the old Visual Composer. This is the new Visual Composer, which is a full-blown website builder. And these JavaScript and CSS options, I haven't found in any other page builders, free or paid. So it's definitely a great option to check out and just be aware of to, so you know it exists. And if you like this kind of tutorial, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell. Leave a comment down below even if just to say hi or ask any questions you may have. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the OAP Learning Lab, and we're getting started right now. So I'm working with a simple template here that I've imported into this Visual Composer page. And to add an extra class name to anything, just edit it. Let's take these icons, for example. Click on them, go to edit. At the very bottom, we can add an extra class name, not the bottom, I guess, if you scroll. But there is a field somewhere on the left-hand side here where you can add an extra class name. For example, let's just make this one blue background. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to add it to the next one as well. And then I'll add to the next one as well. And then you can head over into this gear icon and we can add some custom CSS here. So I can make this blue background blue. And there we go. They all have a blue background. Granted, it's not the most beautiful, but maybe we can make that light blue and it might look a bit better. Light blue is not an option, make that one word, there we go. One word, a little turquoisey blue, a bit better. But you get the point. You can add a class wherever you want and you can apply CSS to that. So if you know and use CSS, this is very useful. If you don't like CSS, like a lot of people, bear with me, there's some more cool stuff to come. So this CSS that we have put in here, we can have that local, meaning for this page only, or global which means the entire website. You can just choose that option and you can switch back and forth. This was input in the local end, so it's not gonna be on the whole site. You have to click on the global button and then paste your CSS in, that'll be applied everywhere. Now a really cool feature that is important for everybody, not just people who like it or not, is adding JavaScript. You can add JavaScript to the header section, to the footer section, just copy and paste it in, you can have it local, meaning this page only, or global, meaning all pages. Now, why would you care? Well, some important things come in the form of JavaScript. Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Facebook Tracking Pixels, Beamer Script. Beamer is an app that allows you to show the latest posts on your site with a little slide out. All kinds of third-party scripts and apps tie into your website with JavaScript. And you can have them tying into just a single page by using the local option, or a global page by using the global option. And this is very helpful because quite often you have to add JavaScript to the head section or the footer section of a site. And if you don't want it on every page, it actually gets pretty tricky doing that in just standard WordPress and other page builders that don't allow you to add JavaScript. So being able to add this to a single page locally is super useful. And the global option, of course, is very useful as well. So adding JavaScript, you can paste it right in here and it will be applied however you set it to be applied. Now, important thing to note is whoever develops the JavaScript will tell you to put it either in the head section or in the footer section. And if you can get away with putting it in the footer, that's where you should put it because sometimes JavaScript can slow down your site because it has to be loaded first before the rest of the site can be loaded. That's called synchronous JavaScript. Nowadays, a lot of JavaScript is asynchronous, meaning it can be loaded as the site's loaded and they both load in parallel with no slowdown of your website. But sometimes that's not the case. So if you can put it in the footer, that's usually the best place to put it. Sometimes you can't, so you put it in the header. And there we have JavaScript and CSS and classes inside of the Visual Composer page builder. This is very viable because you don't see this in a lot of page builders. A lot of them have CSS and class names. I've seen very few, in fact, none at all, that allow you to add JavaScript to the page very easily and then make it local or global, as well as the CSS. I've never seen a page builder that allows you to make it local or global, and that kind of feature helps your site development go a whole lot faster. So if you like what you see and you want to give it a go, head over to visualcomposer.com and then just click on download. You can enter your email address. It's free to download. There is a pro option, as with a lot of page builders, but you can download the free version and give it a test drive and see if it works for you. And keep in mind, like I said earlier, this is not the same as the old Visual Composer. It's not the same as WP Baker Page Builder. This is a brand new Visual Composer that's competing with Elementor, Breezy, Site Origin, Thrive Themes, Big Time, Divi, forgot Divi, big time page builders like that. So make sure you check it out. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also leave a comment down below if you have any questions. 
And next up is this video up here, which shows you how to build a full one page website using Visual Composer. So make sure you check that out. This video down here is the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.